Hello dear children welcome you all to another wonderful session of amazing world of science and here we teach ncert uh, line to line straight from the textbook from classes 8 to classes 12 especially we focus on science up to class 10 and for class 11 and class 12 we do uh, chemistry mainly uh, so just uh, we were doing uh, chapter 2 from uh, class 10 ncert science so here we have already completed uh, the bulk of the lesson and uh, today we are going to do the last part of the second chapter acid bases and salts so those who have in watched the previous videos for this particular lesson can go back watch it and then if you watch this video you'll find it really easy now last class we stopped by Uh, learning the manufacture of bleaching powder then how it is used and what all the uses of bleaching powder today we'll start with baking soda so you know uh, sometimes we use uh, soda for kitchen you might have seen your mother making tasty crispy pakoras uh, in baking soda that is as soon as you come tired uh, back from the school then your moms will keep this uh, tasty snacks ready for you so how does it taste crispy because of the press adding baking soda and also sometimes it is added for faster cooking because you know the chemical name of the compound is sodium hydrogen carbonate nahco3 okay na2co3 sodium carbonate and nah if hydrogen comes it is sodium bicarbonate and how it is produced using sodium chloride as one of the raw materials see nacl plus h2o plus eo2 plus nh3 gives ammonium chloride nh4cl and sodium hydrogen carbonate nah co3 remember the equation don't forget it okay and uh, just check the ph of sodium hydrogen carbonate in activity 2.14 and uh, why it is used to neutralize an acid because it is a mild non corrosive base okay so as you all know we use bases to neutralize the effect of acids so what happens when it is heated during cooking just see sodium hydrogen carbonate and co3 just when you heat it you get sodium carbonate water and co2 okay and when co2 gas is produced you know uh, so mostly it is uh, used to as i said uh, the make the snacks more crispier and tastier okay uh, many uses are also there we'll just see the uses one by one see for making baking powder it is a mixture of baking soda that is sodium hydrogen carbonate and a mild edible acid like tartaric acid so when you heat baking powder or uh, mix with water what happens see nhco3 plus h plus you know all the acids contains h plus see uh, sulfuric acid nitric acid hydrochloric acid all these acid contains h plus so it combines with this h plus and it releases co2 h2o and sodium salt of acid see here the carbon dioxide produces this listen carefully this is the most important part of this reaction so the carbon dioxide produced uh, while this reaction takes place it causes bread or cake uh, to rise making them uh, making the bread or cakes because you know once the carbon dioxide it's a gas isn't it once it is formed it rises up so the when it rises up it makes the texture of bread uh, soft and spongy and sodium hydrogen carbonate it's also ingredient in antacids because why uh, you use it in what is antacid as i said already i think you all will remember because you know it is uh, used to reduce acidity when you eat something and you get so heart uh, burns and stomach pain and all that the base will neutralize the effect of the acid and it gives you quick uh, relief from the stomach by neutralizing the excess of acid in your stomach also we use it in soda acid fire extinguishers because you know carbon dioxide does not support combustion so when you use carbon dioxide from coming out from this it will easily help you to uh, extinguish fires now washing soda is very familiar to you know you use it for washing clothes you get it from sodium chloride that is na2co3 10h2o see here you are all looking at this 10h2o we'll explain what it is it is coming later then sodium uh, carbonate is produced by heating baking soda then recrystallization what is recrystallization one uh, once crystals are formed again when you cool the crystals it, it, you'll get the product back again so when you recrystallize again sodium carbonate it will give washing soda and also washing soda is a basic salt see sodium carbonate plus 10h2o 
it combines together addition product see remove the plus sign and write everything together that is called what we call as addition product NH2CO3 10H2O now see uh, why does uh, ten, what does it uh, uh, what is the importance of 10H2O now what does it signify does it make uh, NH2CO3 sodium carbonate wet see I uh, will uh, see it it's coming later but before that sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate they are very much useful as chemicals for industrial process and what is the use of uh, washing soda washing soda or it's called uh, sodium carbonate it is used in glass soap uh, paper industries and all that okay and also it's used in the manufacture of uh, sodium compounds like borax and all that then it is used as a cleaning agent for a domestic purpose like i said washing clothes and all that then it removes the permanent hardness of water so just uh, you have to know are the crystals of salts really dry okay how can you know whether these salts uh, crystal salts are dry see you know when you look at copper sulfate crystals it seems to be dry uh, containing uh, water of uh, crystallization but what happens when you heat it the water will be removed and it turns the salt will become white okay and if you moisten the crystals again with water you will find that the blue actually what is the color of copper sulfate it is blue in color so when you moisture again it with the water it becomes blue or the blue color will appear again so from this what can you understand like water of crystallization that is the fixed number of water molecules present in one formula unit of a salt five water molecules are present in one uh, copper sulfate just like uh, water of crystallization here is 5H2O CuSO4 5H2O now here uh, whether the molecule of Na2CO3 10H2O because it is wet because it contains water of crystallization which is 10 so on the other salt which process uh, possess water of crystallization that is gypsum okay it has two water molecules as water of crystallization like CaSO4 2H2O now what is the use of this salt you might have heard of plaster of Paris see when you heat gypsum okay at 373 Kelvin it will lose the water molecule this water molecule will be lost and it becomes calcium sulfate semi hydrate see half H2O that is why we call semi hydrate with this CaSO4 half H2O which you get uh, obtained by heating gypsum at 373 it is known as plaster of Paris now what is uh, plaster of Paris used for you know doctors use uh, it as a plaster for supporting fractured bonds in the right position when you get a fracture and all that uh, plaster of Paris it's actually white powder when you mix it with water it will change into gypsum and uh, gives a hard solid mass CaSO4 half H2O plus one and a half H2O gives CaSO4 two H2O that is called gypsum here you see that only half water molecule is uh, shown to be attached to the water of crystallization how can you ever uh, get half water molecule because why you write this like this because two formula units of CaSO4 share one water molecule so uh, each half half will be shared with one CaSO4 okay so plaster of Paris is used to make toys materials of decorations and making the surface smooth uh, so that is why we call it a semi uh, hemi uh, hydrate uh, calcium sulfate hemi hydrate crystal we call it plaster of Paris now we are coming to the end of this lesson and uh, we'll have to tackle the question answers which I'll help you by uploading it and uh, those who are from state syllabus also the portions are common you can watch the videos very well and don't forget to share it with your friends like and subscribe uh, to our channel amazing world of science and uh, do watch the lessons completely you watch it repeatedly two to three times only then you'll understand the concepts well okay and i hope you all find this uh, sessions really helpful and dear children you do learn it really well and try to score high marks for your board exam okay now thanks for watching the video i'll be coming soon with another video uh, and continue with the next lesson thank you